everyone, welcome to Chinatown. Yeah, we're gonna walk all the way from this to the other side and we're gonna check it out. And it's a busy, busy day. <laughs> Technically, we are starting here, but we followed our noses. So this is the bit we did just before we got here, but it is still part of Chinatown. <laughs> We were stopped in our tracks by a delicious, delicious smell coming from this place. And everybody's been saying salty ribs, so... Salty ribs, we're going to try ribs. salty ribs. I'm not even sure what that is. <laughs> well, I think these might be the salty ribs. Oh, man. I'm going to try and Chinatown Foundation Headquarters. This is all the stuff he's got. Can we get some salted ribs? Salty ribs? Okay. It smells so amazing in here. It's like smoky, barbecue, yeah. deliciousness. I don't want to get in the guy's way, but I think he's got chicken. I'm not even sure what those, those are. And they got sausages, and I think those are the smoky ribs. Oh wow, that's just the ribs. Oh man. We just want to try a little, please. <laughs> How much is that one? 200. 200. Good? You okay with that? Yeah, yeah. So that's 200 of salty rib. Um, Give me a little bit to try. Yeah, while he was cutting, oh. good brine's like drooling. Mm. Oh, good? wow. Oh, really wow. Nice. <laughs> oh, always man, always follow your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Scared. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just literally sitting in the shop eating everything. <laughs> Not sure what this is. But there is a hungry queue. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's more. Sausage. No, there's sausage. You're mm. supposed to share, I think. No, no, you didn't say share. This is all for me. There's your packet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man, if you find yourself in Chinatown during the weekend or public holiday, you have to come here. Uh -huh. And we just got a little bit of stuff, but oh man, it tastes so good. All the little samples are brilliant. You have to come, you have to come. We're starting at the art, so we got a bit of art here. Let me just show you. But it's nicely in the shade, so unboxing of our treat. Oh man, oh, look at that. Wow. It's like a sampling portion. Oh, I see sausage oh. and rib and everything in there the smell oh oh man oh. bring it out into the sun rick oh man like look at that look at that barbecue of goodness oh yeah and this was 200 rupees 200 rupees with that big big that's a lot of meat in there you're gonna try something mm. what was that <laughs> I think it's pork. Okay, like pieces oh, of pork. It's lovely. Mm. Or mm. like that chisin, mm. whatever the guy called it. Mm. But it's so soft. Really, really soft. Mm. And juicy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Street meat. Mm. The best. Oh man, we watched a, a program where they had this crack and we've been dying for it ever since. Give it a go, Rick. I'm coming in for the crackle. Uh, 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 uh. That's really good. Plan. 
Thailand to show you in between the two Chinatown gates. But, but oh, can uh, you have a look at this? yeah, we got distracted. <laughs> have a look at these two great buildings. This one's wood, and I think this one's steel. I'm going to go across and actually have a look at them. But wow! Oh yes, this one definitely, definitely is wood. So, so this one's wood. Yeah, thanks. And this one looks like steel. It's steel. The guy's very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> he can point out steel and wood as well. But do you think it's wood underneath? I'm just going to go around the corner a little bit. I, I do believe it's someone's house. It does look like it's all steel. I mean, the whole house is made out of steel. Maybe there's wood underneath. Oh, and someone's planted some corn. Ha <laughs> ha, they're growing some corn here. Interesting. It's a hardware store. But it seems really popular. And it smells kind of yummy and smoky, so... I think there's probably some food going down there. If you have a look up there, there's a wooden pillar with the steel coming off it. Also, the door frames and window frames are wood, but the rest of it is actually made out of the sheet steel. Just here at the entrance to Chinatown, wherever you look here, behind me there, Kankaree. Over there, uh, more Kankaree style stuff. It's just everywhere around here is selling some sort of hardware thing. Or power tool, it just seems like this is the area and people are queuing, yes there are lots of queues. No, oh, backhoes, plows, rotivators, all sorts of things. And it seems like this is the time when you come here, uh, Saturday morning and you come and you buy all your hardware stuff. Definitely in this zone, right next to the gate. The Chinatown gate is right here, and they're just hardware everywhere. Got yourself a dragon there, right? <laughs> well, behind me is the Goodwill Centre, and it is literally the first centre, I'm going to say, as you come through the gates on this side. So we have to go through and have a look if the bus is stopped. So, the Goodwill Centre, let's go in. Lighting. Lighting. Lighting and sell. Everything here is lighting. They're all different shops. It's convenient to put all your lighting so that if you're looking for lighting, you know where to go. Yes, yeah, so come here if you want lighting. Genuinely, every single shop is a lighting shop. Oh man, if you guys, if you guys are looking for lighting, come here. Definitely come here. Uh -huh. And then we got some more regular stuff up ahead. Hardware store. Hardware store. Hello. Oh. This is the back end of a hardware store, but lighting, come here for your lighting. Goodwill Centre, right at the entrance to Chinatown. We have gone quite a long way. You can see it behind me there, about 50 metres away. But still, every single shop is a hardware, a lighting, uh, electrical. It's just so many shops that are genuine. Oh, that's quite nice. That, that actually looks quite nice. Let me show that to you. Uh, it's like a, a light in the Eiffel Tower. But in this shop here, it's a lighting shop. It's just so chock-a-block full of things. The guy must know where everything is, but wow, electrical and lighting in there. Yeah, we just kept going and there just kept being more cankeries. But finally, finally, something that's not to do with hardware or do-it-yourself or build at home or lighting. There's an SPM. <laughs> so there's a bank as well saying, draw your money and come buy your hardware. Well, anyway, we're going through construction site now. <laughs> Even the shops. There's one across there that's closed, cankery. And right next to me, in the old wooden house, of course, cankery young. In the wooden house. Pretty day not open, I would love to have seen inside. Yep, wooden. The beautiful wooden house is behind me here. 
Kankari, of course it is. But this is the road. This is the road where we got the pork earlier. So this is the road. Wooden house, Kankari. Well, actually, there's so many Kankaris, but wooden house, red Nothing wooden house. Oh, yes, yes, I'll, I'll move you forward a little bit. So you can actually see the parking lot with the art. Red Kankari pork down there. And yeah, you got directions to some places. And a really cool iconic building on the corner. I think there's like street art. Probably. People duck as they go past, it's so cool. <laughs> Chinatown is full of street art like this. And uh, we actually did a video on all the street art. I I'll leave a card, you guys can go check it out. Well, up these stairs, behind the line, <laughs> Noodle Square, they do dumplings and things like that. But it's stairs, it's lots of stairs. I'm not going to walk up there all that way there. Maybe later, maybe later. But coming down here, you can see it's actually a stone walkway. So we've got a stone walkway. And then, of course, right here, it's the beautiful Ricky. Ha <laughs> but it's restaurant Lay Min. Inside here, they, they do fondue. They do a fondue Chinese. Oh, I wonder yeah. what that's like. And a chicken bee. Uh, oh, they sell juices and things here. Yeah. Huh? Thank you all, uh, no, yeah. Yeah. You two. Getting a nice cold Coke. Chicken bee. This is pretty cool. From where we got the Coke, like everything outside is all red. <laughs> Oh, wow. What are the chances? <laughs> oh, she's wearing a red skirt. This is what Quim Quim Hong Why Quim Hong ah, Asian product. Oh, have a look at this stuff. It's such interesting stuff. It's actually in the shop. Oh man. I have no idea what half this stuff is. I've been looking at that. Korean wine flavors. I have no idea what that is. But there we go. Korean wines, probably. There are also these things here, right? It looks like tea. Japanese matcha. I'm not even sure what matcha is. I think it might be a tea. But loads of different teas that you're not really going to get anywhere else. Oh, and then in the frozen section, all sorts of frozen things. Pretty much all the things you can imagine that I have no idea what they are. Uh, but if you guys recognize them, let me know. Oh, I do know those peanuts. <laughs> we get those at Super U. Oh, and look at all the caches. Look at the prices of this stuff. Nuts. Oh, pecans. Whole pecans. Oh, they're quite pricey. But you, you can get them here. And dried mushrooms. Loads and loads of dried mushrooms. Oh, and seaweed. Black seaweed. I haven't seen that before. Oh, man. How much is it? 135 for five. Oh, wow. Seaweed. And other things. Uh, chrysanthemum flower you can buy a chrysanthemum really i can't say that chrysanthemum flower oh man and then more teas and just everything you can imagine oh man those things you've been missing bean sauce oh wow this shop must be really old it's in a proper proper stone building Gorgeous. This shop 
they, they really do have all those things that you're missing all the asian asian products if you're missing asian products they have them here now we're gonna go try to find ricky oh she's across the road we're gonna get run over but wow what a fascinating shop ah and here we got ricky <laughs> she found her own food it's the gate on the other end so everything is between those two gates look at this she's making a friendship bracelet she's actually weaving it oh, man. I'm making an avocado design okay wow it takes flowers sure no it looks like it takes a lot of work yeah. well she has to get back to work but beautiful skill there's a massive wall of art it was actually done by a famous Chinese uh, artist Weilin Hong, it's a specialist Chinese foodstuff and medicine. Loads of mushrooms again. Oh wow, look how many mushrooms there are here. That is so many mushrooms. Oh, and nuts. Walnuts. I haven't seen these rice noodles in a long time. There's just so much stuff, I don't even know where to look. <laughs> it's just like all that stuff. What are these? Lotus seeds, cashew nuts, dried chestnuts, and some sort of bulb. Oh man, the shop is just full of things I have no idea about. Baking powder, that's a baking powder. Oh man, and then the black mushrooms. White fungus. What is white fungus? You guys are really going to have to tell me all of this stuff. Okay, I know the Chinese sausage, I know that one. There's just so much stuff here. Green tea. Okay, this is it. Dried duck. This is like a whole duck flatty that's been dried. How much is it? Oh, it doesn't say, but dried duck legs. 165 for the dried duck legs. You get two of them. But a whole duck flatty. Oh, man. Pork sausages. Those, those don't look like sausages at all. Mushrooms, you want a big tin of mushrooms? Oh yeah. Three kgs. Golden leaf, not sure what this stuff is. Mustard leaf, pickled mustard leaves. This place is absolutely fascinating. That's how you buy your sesame oil. Five liters of sesame oil. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Riz Rouge. Like some sort of sauce and it contains red rice and yeast it's got yeast rice wine oh and just some regular wine as well sesame oil vinegar seedless plums pressed seedless plums plums these are the not seedless ones didn't get it earlier, but ginseng. You can actually get your. Oh, this is Korean ginseng. I don't know what that one is. Peking royal jelly. And have a look next to it ginseng royal jelly. And all sorts of other things. Oh, this must be the medicine side. Okay. Other things I missed. Gatto macaroni. It's not macaroni, is it? I don't know. Oh, yes, wasabi. And look at that. You can get it for 65 rupees. Uh, nori rolls and of course nori rolls oh you could you could go with your sushi here that is like a jerry can of soy oh wow I don't know because there's instant natural jellyfish, so maybe it's just gelatin. <laughs> I can mention it. And sliced pork. 
Of course, she could have money. <laughs> and gold. Those offerings for your ancestors. These are actual soybeans. Huh? I don't think I've ever seen a soybean in real life. And weirdly, I didn't think they'd actually be dark like soy sauce. No, <laughs> but I suppose it makes sense. Yeah? Soybeans. That's garlic. Really cool. And bits and gourmet powder. I suppose if you know what it is. Looking up for it. Have a look at this. Okay, it's it's like uh, squid, dried squid. And they they're more here. Of these dried squid things. I have no idea what fish mao is, but it's not cheap. Oh wow, fish mao. Oh, need something. We're going to be like, where was it that we saw that? And it's going to be here. This might be Chinatown, but it's still Mauritius. Stuck so cue the rain. <laughs> still raining a bit. Listening street below. <laughs> Dazzling Star Chinese shop store. It's a store. Yeah. Oh, it's like a traditional old store. All those things we saw in other shops, but more so. This little shop's got some interesting things. Uh -huh, Japanese tofu, 40 rupees. Just here, in the little corner. Oh, and you can get egg sachets, not sure. But just here. Next to Dazzling Star. This guy's selling some chilies. Oh, look at all the chilies he's got. Loads of them. <laughs> they look really good. Indian Ocean Seafood Co. Cold storage. They have a cold storage thing in here. Okay, ice cream. Madagascar, Vietnam. Oh, tiger pawns from Vietnam. Oh, those must be them there. Madagascar. Oh. There is a big place and you've got loads of things. It feels a bit like in Iceland. You can get all sorts of weird little bits that you can defrost. And all the fish and everything. Very nice place. Turn over put Louis. There's a lot of binging noises going on. Yeah, we got out of sync a little bit. Okay, we're back in sync now. Cross that way a bit. Yeah, high enough. There we go, a little bit higher. Oh, some very tall buildings. Oh, there's the gate, there's the gate, you can see it in the middle. Can you awesome. see it there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we are, there's the rest of Port Louis. Nice. I'm going to rotate us around. And we'll see if we can see the gate on the other side. Oh, I think that's it there. Yeah, it's a tiny little piece of Port Louis. So there's the one gate. And let me see if I can rotate the aircraft along the road. This is the road that we just walked on. Uh, you can see some cars and stuff. And there's the gate on the other side. And then look down, and that's us in the parking lot there. <laughs> so we're going to fly towards us, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> oh, wrong way. Safely down to earth. <laughs> we did a video on Chinatown during New Year where everything was closed. I'll, I'll leave a card and you guys can go check it out. Wow, that was just a tiny piece of Chinatown. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.